Hello everybody, this tutorial is a series of two or three now, that I'm going to now make to help you create good quality working drawings from your virtual model, from your CAD model. Now, to do this, um, as I've recommended in the past, you should have multiple files, one of your original LAMP, you might have a separate rendered file where you've done all your background and so on. Now, I recommend you do this with, with your original LAMP, but you do render the appearance and materials for the components of the product itself. You don't want to do this with the background and things like that because in your working drawings it will include the walls and the table and so on. So that's why it's good to have a couple of separate files of the same product for different purposes basically. Now with this one, even though it's the original, I have rendered and added materials and you'll see why a little later on. But once you've got your file open, which is just your product without any setting or backgrounds or anything like that, um, you can then start thinking about creating your working drawing. Now, as I say, it's all about the order of designing it, rendering it, and then we can do a drawing from it. Now, the working drawing section, you can make this from the design aspect or the animation. We're going to be looking at this later on, and we'll show you how to make an exploded isometric drawing, if you like, or an assembly drawing. Um, but now we're just going to do it assembled from the design. When you do that, you'll get this uh, window. You're just going to check it's in millimeters and then it's A3. We're going to create it from scratch of the full assembly. We're going to press OK. And then you'll see that the interface changes. We get to this interface here. Now, what's quite nice is straight away, it'll start giving you a preview of the view you want. And for the purpose of this, we're going to go with a, a view from a northeast isometric view. Um, I'm going to actually increase the scale of this I might go even bigger and as you can see what's quite nice before you click anything you get the preview I'm going to put this here I'm going to press OK and what I'd like to actually do there is I'm going to edit the view I'm now going to give it some color uh, I'll come back to that actually there we go double click if you double click uh, you'll get this option up and if you click this cube here it will give it its color, and I think uh, this is suitable for now. Uh, then we're going to add a table. So this will be what we call a bill of materials. So if I click on the table icon here, we get a table. And I'm just going to put this in the corner. And what you'll see happen is this table will then be populated with the names of each part that you gave the parts when you were drawing the product or the solution. When you were drawing your your virtual model and you're labeling each component it then puts these names in here for you so that's why it's again really important to label your components appropriately logically um, and effectively and because it then comes into these parts here now if you double click on the table you can actually decide what to include or not include um, if you don't want the description box you don't have to for now you can just have it like this that's fine the context that we're working in i recommend you keep the item the quantity um, and the part number in there at least and for now that's all you'll need for this section so i'm going to press uh, okay on that i'm going to move the table i should be able to move it oh maybe not uh, let's have a look what i'm going to do is i'll undo that not sure why I can't move it there, so I'm just going to position it closer, like so. Uh, I'll double click and I want to remove the description box. I'm happy with that. Um, and then basically, that's what you've got for your criterion B3. So you can then take this. What I'd recommend you do is if, if you then uh, save it as a PDF, or in fact, we do it here, we go output PDF, we'll go OK. We'll open it up as we do it as well and you'll see then i'm just going to save it into cad uh, lamp and then when it opens up the pdf you'll see you'll get a real nice clean with a white background pdf you can then use the snipping tool and snip this and then that will go into then your criterion b3 as the presentation of your chosen design and there you've got all the parts labeled you've got the components the material section here i'm not too sure why it's come up as steel because i did assign material so that's something i might need to look into but don't worry about that at this stage um and then you can put that into your 
portfolio for criterion B3, and then that sets the tone really well for presenting your design. And then you've just got to compare how well it meets your specification. Hope that's useful. Next, I'll be showing you how to create the orthographic drawing of your product as well.